Our next guest here in Berlin has been around for about three years, and yet they keep expanding their reach across the world. A company owned by a regular guest of Into Tomorrow has been on with us from here at IFA a couple of times, from CES in Las Vegas two or three times. That would be 50 Cent. You know, we're close, so I can call him 50. Uh, but 50 Cent, uh, who is really very involved in all sorts of cool design and manufacturing of what we're talking about here. The product development manager with SMS Audio is Jordan Yoder. Jordan, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? I'm doing very well, Dave. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, every time we've walked by your exhibit, it's it's just crammed with people, and that's always a good sign. People are wondering what it is that you guys and Fitty are working on, and, and they've got to know, and you've got some really cool new things coming up. What are you showing here at IFA? We do. Um, I think a lot of the you know a lot of the crowd and everybody is really interested in the new Biosport earbud, um, and that's a partnership that we we started with Intel a few months back. Uh -huh. um, we had a you know pretty nice uh, party to to launch the announcement obviously um, and it's been fantastic you know getting into the wearable space and and drawing these crowds to really see what biosport is all about it's, it's been it's been really great and of course a partnership with Intel not a bad thing we, no, we leave uh, from Berlin and go to San Francisco not only for of course the Apple announcements uh, but also the Intel developer forum broadcasting from there our next remote broadcast before we can finally go home and sleep a little uh, but an Intel partnership is a good thing and you're doing some pretty unique stuff with them absolutely um, and Brian our, our president will be out at IDF yeah. so you'll get to see Brian Brian um, Noe who's been on the show several times exactly. as well yeah. um, but you know the the bio Sport earbuds fantastic. I mean, it, it's it's definitely taking um, you know a sector in the wearables and, and bringing a headphone that has a heart rate um, it is a is it's it's a unique fit because I think everybody is, is listening to music when they're obviously working out, running, or anything like that. And you add some, in some are even doing it while they're supposed to be working. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then you add in the element of the of the you know heart rate sensor. I, I think. Um, you know, there's a lot of great things that, that are going to come, you know, from this project. And, and with the added benefit of RunKeeper um, and the ecosystem that they have, um, it, it's just another, you know, step in the right direction and, and really making this product very easy to use, no charging, you know, just plug and play. So now the heart rate sensor is actually part of this earpiece? Yes. Uh, it, the sensor is underneath, um, and you can see it here. Oh, okay. So the sensor oh, okay. basically lays on the, on the bottom of your ear okay. um, and has an optic sensor that, that um, basically takes a reading of, of your blood cells. And as they change, that's what detects the, the heart rate. Wow. So it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty high tech to is. be able to do this on a pair of, of cool earbuds. Exactly. Wow, I so, like that. Yeah, and, and you know, there's a lot of added benefits with without the charging, and and we're just drawing just a very very minimal amount of power out of the of the smartphone. Um, so literally, you just plug into your device, open RunKeeper, um, and the app automatically just starts reading your heart rate, whether resting or you know, I mean, working out. So. And speaking of working out and tracking things and fitness and whatnot, are you you getting more and more into wearables as well? Absolutely, right? absolutely. So and that's kind of cool. What, what, do we, what can we expect, or or is SMS already doing uh, in terms of wearables? So you know, th this was the this was the first step with with Intel, obviously, and and there's definitely some things in the future that that we have um, in the pipeline, and and I think that this is a this is a lasting, hopefully a long lasting relationship, um, and you know, we got some really cool stuff to come. I think everybody's going to be very excited. Good, and so. of course, next big consumer electronic show, you'll have more announcements, of course. no doubt. Of so, course. like you mentioned, we'll have to have Brian and hopefully fifty. On with him there, and, uh, you know he, he always loves being at CES anyway. Just like Efa, his first year at Efa, he was blown away, and then he wanted to come again. and And it's a it's a it's a cool thing to do. Uh, tell me about the Star Wars collection. Is that also earbuds? Or? No, that's that's an on ear product. Oh, um, okay. We launched at CES 2014. Um, it, it's been great working with a company like Lucas Films and and aligning ourselves, you know, in in, in the that space has been really an interesting thing for us because it's brought us into a market that's very different from our, our normal consumer, right? Yeah. Um, and, and it's gotten us into some areas that has been really interesting and, and very good for the brand. Um, and it's, it's, it's four line, it's four products right now. Um, and we're looking to expand, obviously, a little bit, um, possibly next year. Mm -hmm. So there's some things to come in, in that regard as well. Um, a lot of exciting stuff. And, of course, still the Street by 50 line and things like that, right? It's, it's, a, it's a very broad range. Yeah. I mean, right now, you know, we, we really got into the, you know, I mean, really expanding a lot of the lines in general. Um, you know, even now the sport line and, mm -hmm. and where this is kind of headed as well. 
um, and the sport line is is just another extension off of off of our products, which has been good. And we were talking uh, off the air about uh, tangled wires with headphones and things like that. You've got a, a nice solution for that as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, a lot of our cord is all tangle resistant, um, you know, which has been a, a bonus, right, for yeah. us. Um, and like and in the case of these earbuds, uh, the heart rate monitor, mm -hmm. they're they're a flat cord. And, you know, no such thing as tangle proof, I guess, because you want to tangle them up, you can. But they're a whole lot harder to tangle, which means it's a whole lot easier to deal with. Exactly. And, and of course, even the on-ear headphones, you've got several same, of those. Yeah. Same kind of idea. Of Keep it convenient. Keep Make them work well for us. And, of course, not to mention the sound itself. Mm -hmm. You're reproducing the sound as it's meant to be. Exactly. I think that that's what SMS is all about and the studio mastered sound um, right. and, and, and creating something of, of really quality products. And, you know, you look at all the reviews and everybody out there, I think that everyone is so impressed by the flexibility, you know, non-breakage. And, and it's, 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 it's really going to be interesting over the next year to see, you know, how the, how the brand progresses and, and where we're headed. It's, it's pretty exciting. For sure. And for, so. a, for a, a relatively young company doing mm -hmm. so many things, it, it makes it even more fun. And, and thus, I can see the excitement. So continued good luck. And, of course, you'll let us know what you got that's new and exciting. And we'll talk about it. Of course. Thank you, Dave. Our pleasure. Jordan with smsaudio.com. And, of course, we'll link you there as well at intotomorrow.com. We're back with more from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.